Hey guys, welcome back to Auction Not Included, Clay's amazing space colony simulator extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are on the LV Alpha, a collection of rocks that are existing in this weird cluster of asteroids. We have been put in charge of these duplicates lives and we've been trying to build them up a great little empire to survive in. The Yakil and Taranu asteroids are doing quite well. Yakil is kind of dealing with the oxygen and a few bits of food. Taranu very much dealing with the hydrocarbons, the oils, and the plastics, and such forth. But over at Cherubi is where our current challenges lie. We have a man, Sir Doctor Captain Subs Esquire the Second, and Hicks over from Taranu. I'm not not sure where he currently is located, trying to survive in this harsh, harsh environment. They are currently surviving off of mush bars, the congealed mess that results from taking some dirt, mushing it with water, and shoving it in your mouth hole. And that's, that's not the nicest thing to be surviving on. I think we want to try and move them off of that. And the way we're going to do that, well, that is going to involve th doing things like getting some puffed farms on the go by getting some uh, some ethanol distilleries done so we can make use of all the wood that we seem to have lying around. And of course, let's not forget that the actual reason we came here was to make it, take advantage of the uh, volcanoes that we have around, an aluminium volcano here, here, and two gold volcanoes. But first, before we look at any of that, and I'm not sure entirely how much of that we are going to be able to get to, I'm going to build something that we have not built before and I think I need to make use of. Yes, the mini pod. Can it just go here? We'll see. How, we'll see, shall we? We'll just build one here. I'm not even sure how you power this thing. Let's let's just wait and see what these guys do with it. All right, Dr. Captain Sub, Sir, Dr. Captain Subs Esquire, the second seems to really enjoy this going up. Skill points are up there. Oh, look, we can inspect. This is good. This is a three ring uh, binder inside. It survived. Uh, I scanned the surviving documents. How are there surviving documents? We just built it. Oh, I missed I missed the, the pod entry. Wait. Oh, man. It, it could be any of these. It could have been any. <laughs> Well, anyway, we've got a pod. Let's activate it. Who who needs to activate it? I'm not sure if this is something a learned skill. Is it? Is it something that people do? No current need. Okay, fair enough. Ah, 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 ah. I've added new entry to my log. Personal journal. Okay, I've been so tired lately. I spent at least last three nights sleeping at my desk. I've used the lab safety shower to bathe twice already this month. We're technically on schedule, but for some reason, Director Stern has been breaking down, uh, breathing down my neck to get these new products ready for market. Normally, I'd be mad about the added pressure on my work, but something in the director's voice tells me the time is of the essence. Ooh, I mean, what, what, what could be so de so deadly that they need to deal with it immediately? Hey. Okay, I had to up their toggling priority. No big problem. I mean, there is a lot of debris around. That is a bit of a problem. Let's have a look at the decor overlay. I'm surprised these guys haven't gone completely nuts yet, but I suppose they don't have many skills on the go. He's taken a while to uh, to activate this. Oh, we can't see behind the, behind the sweep orders there. Cancelled them all just so we could watch. All right, beautiful, beautiful. And I did this because we're trying to find a chef. Sir Dr. Captain Subs Esquire the second and Hicks himself is currently going around taking care of all the food uh, issues. I don't think that's something that someone like himself should be doing. Ah, but we've not really got anyone that could do it. Ah, uh, no, this, this this is big shame. Okay, we'll take the Murph Leaf and see what we can do next round. Three cycles will just fly by, watch out. So I think first things first, we're going to go ahead and try and crack into this aluminium volcano. We've got all the steam, uh, all the steel we need to be able to put down some of the things inside the little box here. And I think having a fresh supply of metals will do quite well for being able to sort out some sort of round trip rocket. I think that's something that we need to try and work out here. Indeed, to work out a round trip rocket, we're going to need a rocket platform, and we just do not have... I, I disagree, sir. Uh, it's because you're in the toilets. But we do now have the materials, so yeah, getting getting this ooh, volcano up and running will be very important. I bet I bet it's gonna I bet it's gonna become dormant just as we get this finished. Whilst we're waiting for the arch to recharge and for Hicks to break on in here and start building over the volcano, I suppose there's something we can do that we've not done yet. Deconstruct this. I I don't even know what it's made out of. Let's have a look. Properties over here. We got a whole bunch of iron just sat around waiting. Waiting for someone like Hicks to come along, stand in the vacuum and the blinding light. This is just like unbelievable bright out here. 78,000 lumens or luxes, whatever they're casting as luxins here. That, that, that's cool. No wonder our uh, solar panels up here are producing so much power for us. 
Hmm, this might be more of a problem than I thought it would be. We're gonna having a little bit of a spillage here. If I come through and get an airflow tile, though, we should be able to fix this. Just pop that there for maximum build priority. Also, take the top off of that. Let, let's see what happens. It, it's kind of doing all right just having the water pressure holding it back so far. And the aluminium ore going in place is definitely going to help. Ah, we've got a little bit of spillage. I was kind of hoping that this wouldn't happen. The mixing of the liquids down here is not going to be the end of the world. Murph leaf, it is drowning. Mm, I'm not that bothered. So it turns out we as a colony are missing a few skills to get this build done. I knew this would be the case, so I've taken down the Rock Crusher and we're putting a skill scrubber up because we're about to send Hicks to hell and back. We're going to go ahead. We need the Electrical Engineering and Mechatronics. Look at that. They're both on the same line. Uh, well, Hicks, looking at the top left, he's he's not got long until it's going to go all bad for him. Let's... Uh, Let's speed this process up to just the things that need it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Stuff, stuff's going on. He learned a skill. Wow. D does that actually need to happen? Is that so? No, no, no. No, surely not. So Dr. Captain Subs didn't need to do it to, the, to know how to cook. Oh, I knew the time wouldn't take long to pass. Okay, let's have a look and see what we've got this time. Anything close to a chef? No. A double narcoleptic, though. Crazy. I guess we'll take the barn lily seeds then. Gonna take more than a pot plant, but let's see if we can't get this bedroom just a little bit nicer for Hicks. Also, this slime lung is doing him in. We're gonna have to try and rearrange this particular power situation here. I might just drop it down this side and then it's separated from the ladder, maybe. Oh, okay, we might be pushing Hicks a little bit too far. He just got himself a stress vomit. We need him to just dig out this bit bottom area under here, though. The question I've got, is it full of germs? It's full of full of slime lung, but it's not full of food poisoning. So we, we, we can just, we can let this happen, it turns out. Let's, uh, let's stress him out a little bit more, shall we? Let's turn these all up to super high priority and see if we can't get... Ooh, Sir Dr. Captain Subs Esquire the second does not like what's going on here, and I do not blame him. I think that might be all the super important stuff. I have got a wire back here that's ridiculously overpowered. I, I think, I think, Hicks, it, it's time. <laughs> yes, yes. Be, be, be clean, my friend. Be clean. We need, we need to calm you down. Interesting question of whether Hicks is going to starve before this finishes. I think he's going to be okay. Yeah, there we go. Brilliant. Oh, it's, it should be fine now. Skills reset. Wonderful, wonderful. Hopefully now he's going to be on a, a nosedive of stress. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Maybe if we just follow him around, that will also speed it up a little bit. It gives him an extra 5% per cycle of spiritual healing. Somehow in here, there is heavy watt wire giving a negative decor value. I was looking around trying to figure out how it would be one of these down here. You see they highlight when you cycle over, but there's nothing highlighting down here. Look at the top left. It's through this wall here. It's through this very tiny gap here. Is this literally the smallest it could be? Three by six. No, that's not that's not the smallest it could be. I'm going to put a small tile in the corner here. Yeah, so now total decor is zero. That's that's better than it was. We now need to put some furniture in that actually improves the area. As soon as I put the buddy seed in there, it uh, it died, and then it, it was a negative, so a negative um, negative decor. So that that was probably a bad idea. Throw a bunch of molding up. That that sounds like a much better one. So we've got ourselves a bit of an impromptu liquid lock set up here. I didn't really mean to, but liquid spelt down and I was climbing in through the corner here. So it's totally sealed off. And I had this pump slowly drawing all of the uh, the gases out of here. Because when the, this fills up with steam, the last thing you want is to have a bunch of oxygen sat on top causing us issues. But the main reason that I've called you back, the main reason that we're here, if I come over to the mini pod and choose a blueprint, we can see that we've got a doctor cooker. This This sounds great. Let's grab this guy. We're going to go with Company Man Burke from Aliens. All right, let's get you in here. I'm sure nothing will go wrong having you. I don't know where we're going to let you sleep, though. This is this is a bit of a problem. We are thinking about sending Hicks back at some point. I think we're just going to literally copy this out. Let's just, let's just put you up there. Oh, another thing. I've had to put an electrolyzer in the wild. The pressure was getting just far too low to keep the 
keep the mushrooms turning over. Auto save. Uh, so I, yeah, I put this down and it's all pushed it back down. Hopefully, as people come through and oh wait, wait, we've got to we've got to select some jobs here. We want Burke. Let's have a look. Cooking all the way. Turn Doctor Captain Subs down. And of course, farming and ranching. He's not a rancher, but he can make do. And we're going to give him the grilling. Yeah, let's give him grilling. Okay, this means that we can also move Sir, Sir Doctor Captain Subs onto something a bit more. Let's let's give him improved carrying for now and see what happens. Will, will they come and get their hats from the mini pod? This is this is my big question. Yes, maybe. I mean, we're, we're getting some skill points and some change in directions, but what what about that hat? What about that hat? There we go. Beautiful. Great. So we have a small problem of not having enough uh, refined metal to finish off our wiring here. Thankfully, there is a bunch all around this gold volcano down here. Could cause us a bit of trouble going to get it, but I'm just going to... Oh, well, I was going to just dig up there, but I see that we're just about to plow into a piece of neutronium. So I guess I'm kind of come down here instead. Okay, gold got. Let's go and put down some conductive wire. Like that. Should be easy enough. Should be simple enough. I mean, never underestimate the duplicate's abilities to mess it up. But, you know, we'll, we'll see what we can do. So the next thing we need to do is to fill the cooling loop up with some sort of coolant. Now, ideally, I'd be using crude oil as it has quite a wide range of temperatures it works over. But as we have quite a large supply of polluted water, we're going we're gonna to use this instead. That's gone backwards. Oh, I put this in the wrong way around, I see. Well, now's the time for finding out if we forgot anything. Yep, yeah, I, I may have forgotten one very important thing right here. I want to dump enough water in here before we take that out, though, that it's actually worth turning this aqua tuner on. I feel like at the moment we just end up uh, destroying everything with far too hot steam. Okay, with a fair amount of water now going in, I will explain roughly what's going to happen. The aluminium volcano is going to spew out of red hot aluminium. It's going to touch the water, turning it all into steam. The steam turbine is going to cool that steam down and put the water back in through this um, vent here. This auto sweeper will pick up any uh, solid aluminium that forms from touching the water. That's fine. It should be loads of it. It will all go in the conveyor loader and be spread around in amongst all the steam so it can all be changed. Uh, down via the power of the steam. Why is Hicks starving? We'll figure that out in a second. Uh, during all that same time, we're going to have this cooling down the steam turbine and also this little conveyor sensor here trying to find out whether the items on the rail are below 130 degrees. Because obviously the steam turbine can only bring us down to 125. If it does get down to below 100 and, uh, 130 degrees, this, uh, this shut off Conveyor shut off, that's the word I was looking for. We'll bring it through into this secondary chilled room, which hopefully will be held down at about 20 degrees. Looks like maybe we are set to start thinking about ripping these two tiles down and getting in there and destroying that uh, that tile right there. Uh, I'm a little bit worried that it's not not been got up and moving for a little while. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Oh, I'd also like to take out these wires if possible. Hmm, I don't know. The problem is if the uh, volcano starts up unexpectedly, I could find myself in a whole bunch of steam and this water here will only hold so much of the heat and oh, there's not much water being pushed down there at this point. Hopefully the water here will hold any gases back. Okay, yeah, there's a li little bit of a warrior down there, but I think we'll be fine. Okay, so far so good. The tile got taken out and we've managed to get the iron out of there. That's beautiful. I'm going to pop these down. Ooh, are, we, are we okay? Yeah, I think we're okay. Uh, also at a stupidly high priority. Right, as long as these get built and this polluted oxygen doesn't do the stupid thing of going in there, which I think it might do. I've got, I've got a feeling that maybe we're about to watch some bad things happen here. One tile, good. Second tile. I mean, what am I gonna? I, I guess we're just gonna live with it if it does go into there. I mean, one one tile will hopefully spend most of its time in the corners. Okay, I did a little bit of priority changing here to try and make sure that the polluted oxygen got wiped out. I started sweeping on this side. It all happened rather quickly. I, I, I should have mentioned it as I was doing it. Uh, I now want this tile to be the priority again. Okay, that worked out. That worked out really well, actually. Okay, I think the first thing to do is bring the coolant down to 20 degrees. So, if above 20, as it is right now, let's start warming up that aqua tuna. Is it going to put all its heat into the... 
the water. I mean, it kind of is. It doesn't seem to be cooling down by the water that much. Okay, it seems to have evened out. That, that first spike of temperature has held its nerve. Okay, great. Beautiful. Burke, what are you doing? Why aren't, why aren't you, like cooking why are you sleeping what okay now that night time has been called i'm gonna try and break this bit of wire here which means in the morning it'll break and we'll have a bit more water on the go i'm wondering if this is ever going to get to the point where it's like oh no i'm being i'm being flooded please help please help I, I don't know i actually don't know what i am waiting for is for this volcano to erupt this might be a little much, but I think we can get... Ah, oh, he's only got one skill point to it. Okay, we're going to have to scrub Dr. Captain Subs because I want to get him in there to re research what this uh, volcano does on turning on and off wise. We have no idea right now. And 44 seconds out of every 818, that's a good ratio to check out. To, to check out? That's a good ratio to check out. Oh, it's doing it. It's doing it. We've not researched it yet, but it's getting ready to get hot. Okay, we might not be able to actually get our faces in there for a look. That's a bit of a shame because Hicks is just turning up with the uh, the power wire for the skill scrubber there. We'll wait and see what happens. Maybe we will be able to cool this down enough. I doubt it somehow, but maybe, maybe. I mean, we could probably put a different material here to create a liquid lock and maybe make our way in that way. I mean, that pressure has been building for a while. Look at this. Oh, man. It's it's gonna take some time take some time oh and there it goes there it goes we are spitting out some aluminium now it was a thing that we didn't actually have in this list but now do so if we uh, click that there the aluminium should get picked up and thrown on the conveyor rail if we have a look at the overlay this now gets put through here as you can see it's 600 degrees that's pretty hot as it goes through it should though make uh interact with the water to make that nice and steamy hopefully I know, i'm starting to feel like i should have just left it there <laughs> okay we're at 70 degree water so far down the very bottom of the list it shows us 78 degree is it gonna get hot enough to actually overheat up to steam i don't know i actually don't know Looks like there is a lot more aluminium to come out, though. So yes, probably uh, all the aluminium has come. Oh no, have we? Has it? Has it clogged up? That's not great. I was kind of hoping this would allow it to carry on round. Okay, we're dropping out aluminium below 100 degrees. This is good. Oh, mate, we we we've done it. We we've managed to actually set up. Uh, do this uh, go you you down there you down there look at that beautiful this should now just keep increasing and increasing we managed to do it without destroying this as well so if we can get dr sir captain subs the third into here no wait 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 i don't want that i don't want that okay typical just as we get to the point where i can enact the plan things are getting a little hot okay that that's fine that's fine we're going to close that up we're going to increase the amount of water in the system and it should work out quite well unfortunately we're, we're just not gonna know we're we're just never gonna know what what these values are it's a shame well just as the volcano is about to go i've just realized what i can do is select the obsidian and the gold amalgam down there uh, and get them out of the system this should get them placed on the side somewhere that they, they should all just come falling out that would be great so new aluminium being made we've stopped the overheating of the thermo aqua tuna this is a great can't go above 175 because we've only made it out of gold amalgam we did not have enough steel but that is no big problem uh, what is amazing though is we are producing infinite amounts i mean it's not infinite but it is functionally keep making more and more aluminium though i wish i knew why it got snarled up like this I will see you guys next time when we are going to work on the ethanol distillery so that we can have some renewable water so we can get some more more oxygen on the go and maybe maybe deal with a way of dealing with this hydrogen but I will see you then when we're going to do that bye